But this was, uh, or this used to be uh, a dream uh, some years ago. And uh, today it became uh, more uh, an objective rather than a dream. And I do think we are uh, heading in the right direction uh, because everybody within the industry has done his own part from the energy producers to the infrastructure, to the equipment manufacturers. So both the IT equipment manufacturers and the technical equipment manufacturers. Well, of course, uh, I must talk about uh, equipment. Uh, and uh, uh, beside uh, uh, modern and up-to-date uh, server uh, setup, we can focus on the air conditioning system that we all know is a big chunk of the uh, energy consumption. Uh, from our side, uh, we do think uh, we need to develop a specialized and modern air conditioning system. Uh, when I say specialized and modern, it means that we have a power to choose which type of energy we can use. And among all the energies, free cooling is by far the most powerful tool we have in order to achieve this uh, climate-friendly data center. Well, the straightforward answer to your question is no. Uh, and the reason being is that uh, uh, thank also to the designer that are, that are helping us in designing uh, uh, new data centers, with, uh, we see an increasing trend uh, of uh, uh, increasing the temperature within the spaces of a data center. Uh, this allows us to increase the water temperature in case of an indirect free cooling system. And this gives two major advantages. The first one is that uh, we are able to uh, operate in free cooling for a much larger amount of hours. This means that my return of investment will be much quicker than uh, uh, in the past. And the second one is that I can operate a unit in part load, simply because I am offloading part of the load from the chiller using the ambient temperature. Well, the answer is yes. And it's not very simple though. Being able to operate a higher temperature allows uh, this uh, retrofit to happen uh, also in areas where once upon a time, uh, free cooling was a no-go, simply because the free cooling can start from temperature of 25 degrees ambient. Uh, that is something that it couldn't happen until a few years ago. We, we have to divide into two different cases. One case is, uh, uh, air-cooled system. In case of air-cooled system, the retrofit is relatively simple because everything is normally contained into a chiller. On the other hand, on a water-cooled system, we do have uh, some constraints. These constraints are mostly installation constraints and control. For that reason, we have developed a system that is, called, that is called free cooling booster that is including in just one product, both all the installation components that are required for an upgrade and the patented control that is capable to control all the components within the system. This allows an easy, and efficient replay, uh, upgrade of an existing water-cooled system. I would say that the two points that I have just uh, highlighted are generating the main advantages. Uh, having a fully integrated solution allows us to put a pre-engineered 
and tested the unit into the system. And this, uh, this means that uh, all the uh, operation and all the work that normally is, doing, is done on site uh, will be replaced by simply moving a product from our warehouse into the system. So reliability of performances, reliabilities of components that have been specifically designed and tested for this system. Consequently, we have also the reliability of the control system that with our patented solution is capable to control all the bits and pieces into the system in order to allow the free cooling, not only when the air temperature allows 100% of the load, but also when the air temperature allows to take away only part of the load. So what we call normally mix mode. This is from the installation point of view. There is a direct consequence that is the timing for the design and the, the timing for the implementation of the plant. Today, the modern data center industry is running at a very fast pace and having the certainty of a delivery time for a component is definitely something that will be extremely appreciated whenever the schedule is very tight and is very demanding. For that reason, I think that in the moment in which we are able to deliver something that just needs to be positioned and plugged and it is ready to operate, will make a huge change into the, the market. In a nutshell, uh, talking about the numbers, uh, if we consider a system that is 1.3 megawatt, considering that the free cooling booster is a system that uh, uh, can be delivered up to 1.8 megawatt, so considering 1.3 megawatt as a system, we can think about having a saving up to 35% that in euros is roughly 130,000 euros per year. But all the advantages that are present in uh, refurbishment are doubled in terms of advantages for new build, simply because we are able to properly select all the components from the very beginning and properly position all the components from the very beginning. Starting from the Explorer range water cool system or the turbo core water cool system that is within Stutz range up to the dry coolers that can be selected by our cells and supplied by our cells. Uh, clearly, this whole system that is capable in a native way to talk each other will give, will give even a higher advantage compared to something that is a retrofit. Although the patented control can operate both with Stulz units and with other manufacturers units. In addition to that, in the moment we, in which we have multiple systems, we can even add what we call cyber hub plant opt, that is a supervising system that is capable to optimize the whole system, operating the system in the best operation condition based on the ambient temperature in order to always have a consistent consistent performance throughout the total life cycle. 